What's up guys, my name is Doug, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing Young Thug's So Much Fun. Now, I'm reviewing this project instead of reacting to it because honestly, I didn't want to sit down and do a reaction video to this project because that would have taken a really long time since it's 19 tracks long and I just wasn't really in the mood for it. So, I also decided that I want to be doing more reviews on the channel and I want to get better at reviewing the albums themselves. So. I figured this was a good chance to get some practice in and still give you guys a video about this project because I wasn't even going to do one in the first place. So yeah, that's the reason I'm reviewing this instead of reacting to it. I hope you guys are okay with that. I'm still going to give you my thoughts on the track. I'm still going to give you, you know, my opinions on every individual track because that's how I like to review. I don't like to just give a broad general statement about the entire project. I like to get a little in-depth and so that's what we'll be doing today. Real quick before we get into it though, if you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, that would be really dope. The link is in the description and in the top right hand corner. You could also follow me on my social media, that would be really helpful as well uh, in terms of making this channel grow and, and, and get more subscribers and more viewers and better equipment and stuff like that. That'd be really dope and I'd really appreciate some help. Um, and yeah, let's just jump right into it. The first track is Just How It Is on this project. It's it's almost like Young Thug wrote us a ballad, you know, kind of being a little reminiscent and reflective on his life and the things that he's been through. And he does so over a very smooth beat. There's a really wavy guitar uh, in this track. It's kind of, it's got a really laid back, smooth, mellow vibe. It really is almost like Young Thug is kind of like singing to us and kind of telling us these things about his life and how he's overcome them and how he got rich. And, and he's kind of almost showing a little bit of wisdom on this track, honestly. Uh, this is almost like the equivalent of Young Thug rainy day music. You know, it's like really chill and laid back. And honestly, I wasn't expecting this from an a Young Thug introduction. I'm sure he's capable of making music like this, but I wasn't expecting that vibe right off the bat. You know, it's really mellow. It's a great track, honestly. It's a really mature track from Young Thug, which I think is really cool. It's an awesome song. And I'll say right now that this project kind of has this, uh, this tendency, you know, to, to have a really mellow, slower track, and immediately after it just come back so much stronger and harder with a, a very very energetic track and the next track is Sup Mate featuring Future and on this track I mean you can almost picture him and Future just really high having a blast in the studio saying the first thing that comes to their minds basically freestyling everything and when they don't have the words they just mumble and they just decided to keep it in there they're just having a fun time they're having a blast hearing Future say mate repeatedly on this track is very strangely addicting you know, it's it's something that the first time I heard it, I was like kind of iffy on it, but then I heard it again another two or three times and I keep coming back to it. It's so fire. The beat is so aggressive. Wheezy might have produced it. Whoever produced it did a great job. That beat knocks so hard. The energy to it is just contagious. It's so good, man. I really enjoy that song. The ad-libs from Future and from Young Thug on this thing are, are insane. You know, they're just so wacky and so unexpected and they are awesome because of that. Its energy is contagious. It, it, it pulls you in. It makes you want to just rage and mosh and have a blast and dance to it and move to it. The bounce is so incredible, you know? It's an awesome song. The third track is Ecstasy and I know that this one was the one that was patched. Uh, it, it, it got a Machine Gun Kelly feature that it didn't have before. And if I'm being honest, I think it might have been better off without the Machine Gun Kelly beat uh, feature, excuse me. Because the beat is so different, you know, honestly, I was really taken off guard the first time I heard it. It's so, so unique. The melodies are very dissonant, you know, they almost sound like they're not fitting very well together, but they do. And they create this really dark vibe that just works, you know, it's so harsh and aggressive, but for some reason it, it works very well for Young Thug and this track could have been a very creative unique track um, not the most replayable but definitely worthy of some praise for being so creative if he hadn't added that MGK verse man I just feel like Machine Gun Kelly's verse was kind of cringeworthy and unnecessary and honestly kind of ruined the song. The song had some potential, you know? I, I, the first few times I listened to it, I didn't find it very replayable, but for some reason I did keep coming back to it just because I really wanted to get into it because it, it sounded so different and unique and creative. And I just, you know, I, I'm not gonna do that anymore because I don't like that MGK verse. I feel like what could have been for this track could have been really, really special, you know? But this project has a habit 
and it does this two or three times where I will listen to a track and I won't really like it that much, but the next track will just be amazing. It'll be so good. And the next track is hot and man, did Wheezy kill this beat, dude. The horns are so emphatic, triumphant. You know, their horns are, are, are just so addicting to listen to, so catchy. And then Gunna, with that really laid back flow, with the laid back delivery and performance, it's just so smooth. It works so well with this beat, you know? And the, the BPM is just so slow compared to some of these other tracks. The bounce to it isn't really there because of how slow it is, but it adds kind of to the dark vibe, the fact that it's a little slower, you know? We've got some vocal chants. Uh, we've got Young Thug chanting the word hot in the background that also really works. It adds to a little bit of that bounce, uh, to that dark vibe. When Young Thug first comes in, he's almost this very ethereal presence, you know? There's a whole lot of reverb to his vocals. His vocals aren't very present. And then he kind of like snaps out of it and the mixing changes and they put his vocals up front again and boom, He's just that much more present. We get this punch of energy from Young Thug's verse. His flow is just so awesome on this track. I mean, the whole energy to this song is just so different, you know? For such a slow track, it's got so much energy and, and, and it's just so fire, but it's so smooth and it's so well executed. And that hook, the, the Gunna chorus is so catchy. Uh, it, it's got so much replayability. It's so much fun to listen to. Uh, no pun intended. It's an awesome song. Now the next track is Light It Up, and I've heard it four times now, and I've had the same impression every time coming off of Hot and going right into this track. It's, it's some really questionable beat selection, in my opinion. You know, I just feel like the melodies for this beat don't really work. Um, I, I feel like, honestly, even though I didn't really enjoy Ecstasy all that much, I feel like Light It Up is kind of my first major disappointment with this project. I feel like it probably should have been taken off, just because the, the beat itself, I mean, you know, Young Thug, whenever he gets a bad beat, he tries. He tries. He always brings energy and the ad-libs and the performance. I mean, Young Thug is known for his vocal performance and the inflections and everything that he does vo vocally, but, you know, he couldn't save this. This beat just really did not work for me. It's not great. And uh, I just really did not like it, you know, and honestly, I feel like I, I've... I've had my fill of this track. Listen to it four times, like I said. I really don't want to listen to it again. Whenever I replay this album, I will be skipping this track. But like I said, every time there's a track on this project that I don't really like, the next track just brings me right back into it. The next track is Surf, and this is everything that Light It Up isn't. It's got a really traditional, catchy melody for the beat. Poppy synths that just work. They're so fun to listen to. They've got a really cool summer vibe, kind of. You've got Young Thug bringing back Gunna to kind of save me from the mess that was Light It Up. And, and they just bring awesome performances, awesome vibes. Young Thug's energy on this track is, again, very contagious. It's so good. It fits so well with the production. It's, a such, it's such a fun track to listen to, you know? Like I said, it's got the great summer vibes. It's got the uh, put your windows down and ride around and just blast this kind of vibe. You know, it's just a lot of fun to listen to. This is a great party song. It's going to get people in the right moods. It's going to get people in the right mind space to uh, kind of have a good time and, you know, and have some drinks and, and talk to people and dance. It's a fun track, man. It's just really, really cool. Moving on to Bad, Bad, Bad. Now the hook on this, Young Thug's chorus, is flames. Dude, the flow, and, and, oh my god. I mean, catchy lyrics, uh, the flow that he uses just fits this production very, very well. Uh, every time he says bad, 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 I'm just like, I'm pulled into this track so much more because it's such a cool conclusion to that line of the chorus, you know? This beat is really minimalistic. It's got a really cool sample of strings with some vocals in the background. You kind of, it, it starts off playing the sample. Uh, which makes it definitely a lot easier to pay attention to that sample while the rest of the track is going on uh, But it is very far back, you know some of those vocals and, and if you're not looking for them You won't really hear them, but they're there and they work and it's so cool We've got some really cool pianos, you know, but like I said very minimalistic production on this uh, it, it, There's not too much going on but it all works very, very well. And I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Lil Baby, but I feel like his verse on this really works. I feel like he did better than I was expecting when I saw his name on the feature list. And honestly, I feel like I've got to apologize for kind of underestimating him on this track because, you know, he, he fit with the vibes of the track. Uh, his verse was dope, his flow was dope, his delivery was dope. And really, I can't fault him. He had a really nice, quick, concise verse on this track. 
And uh, I just, again, this track is really wavy, it's really fun. And I had a good time every single time listening to this track. And as soon as Lil Baby starts, not his verse on the last track, but the song Lil Baby, um, I feel like just the synths that hit you immediately are so Pierre Bourne-esque, you know? Very similar to that new style of trap music that Pierre Bourne, Playboy Cardi, Lil Uzi Vert, Young Nudie, that they're popularizing, which focuses very heavy on these very creative synths uh, that are really melodic and they're looped, you know, they're really quick loops uh, to kind of keep you addicted to the track. There are some really subtle melodies going on over the synths that are very, very dope. And Young Thug's verse starts, and it's typical Young Thug, it's something that that I was kind of expecting from him. This track is fire, you know, but then he starts shouting out other rappers and I feel like that was just such a cool touch. You know, that was so dope. Hearing him say all these other rappers and shout them out uh, is it, it, really, really cool. It was really cool to listen to. It was very surprising. I wasn't really expecting the shout outs and uh, it, it was just a really pleasant surprise during his verse. You know, it, it was unpredictable. It was unexpected. And having that surprise in the track was a really cool moment for me when I was listening to it. Uh, for a trap song, it does have a very laid back vibe, if I'm being honest. Uh, Thug's delivery is very soft. You know, there are times where it feels like he's almost whispering into the mic. And at this point, it becomes very evident just how tame Young Thug has been on this project. Uh, this is kind of when I realized, you know, th this is this is a little different from the other Young Thug projects that we've gotten so far. I mean, there have been two tracks that I wasn't really feeling so uh, so far, maybe three. Something about his energy, his delivery, it feels like he's, he's really just tame. It doesn't feel like he's as wacky as he normally is. I mean, we did have Sup Mate, which was was pretty reminiscent of some older Thug songs, but just in, overall, he's not really as out there, you know? And it's at this track that I kind of started to realize that and pay attention to that. Uh, and then on the next track, What's the Move came in, featuring Lil Uzi Vert, man. Oh, such a perfect track to feature Lil Uzi on, man. This beat was, it feels like it was made for Lil Uzi Vert, you know? Uh, he's got those really poppy vocals, you know, something about his voice and the way it sounds. It's just so poppy. It, it sounds so great with this beat, his, his flow, the melodies that he was singing. I mean, I love Lil Uzi on this track. And it was so refreshing to hear from Lil Uzi again. I'm so excited for his new project to come out, dude. I don't know when it'll drop. You know, and, and I'm, I'm not like waiting on it every single day, but just when I remember that he's got a project that he's about to release real soon, it's just so, so nice. You know, it's, it makes me so happy knowing that he's got a project that he's gonna drop and I'm gonna be hearing from Lil Uzi again. He's just such a fun artist to listen to. And he really brought that Uzi vibe to the song. The synths and the bells and the production are playing awesome melodies. I mean, again, this is another one of those kind of like summer, fun, poppy tracks, you know? It's gonna be one of the ones that's played on the radio. This is a very radio-friendly song. I feel like if you're a person who doesn't really like Young Thug tracks, you might like this song. It's not very similar to some of his other songs, you know? This is more mainstream, uh, and I feel like you might enjoy this. So be sure to check this out. If you're not the biggest Young Thug fan, you might still enjoy this. Uh, the hook for this is really catchy. Young Thug did a great job on the hook for this. And I feel like this track isn't really the best to dance to, but I feel like if you put this on at a party, it's gonna set the tone, you know? It's a great tone setting track for the parties. This is the track that you put on and it's gonna put people in good moods. It's gonna get them ready to kind of enjoy themselves. It's gonna get them mingling with each other. You know, it's gonna put a smile on everyone's face just cause it's fun to listen to. It's not necessarily the most bouncy beat for you to like dance to or twerk to or move around to or something like that but it is a very uplifting track that will get people in the right moods to enjoy themselves at a party. So this is definitely dope and it's definitely worth having in your playlist for that situation. Now the next track is I Bought Her. And at this point when I'm listening to this, I started realizing a pattern in some of these beats. Most of them have very simple melodies. The drum patterns are for the most part very bouncy and energetic and they've got that young thug vibe to them, the bass knocks and makes you want to move and dance to it. But the synths for the most part are very mellow, very laid back, and they've almost got this like dreamy vibe to them sometimes, you know? And it kind of to play off of those mellow vibes coming from the synths, uh, Young Thug has got to do something to keep the tracks interesting, and so every now and then he'll kind of go up or down an octave uh, to kind of keep us interested in what he's doing and what he's performing on the track. But for the most part, it does feel like he relies on this track uh, he relies on that melody to grab people's attention. He relies on the, the vibes of the track to 
kind of bring people back to it. Now I think that little Duke's energy on this track is absolutely great. And whenever I picture this song being played at a concert, it's during Lil Duke's verse where people kind of start really moving around and moshing and kind of going nuts, you know? It's it's kind of like the, the climax of the track when Lil Duke starts kind of going off and the beat kind of gets really energetic. Because for the most part during Young Thug's portions of this track, it's really mellow, it's laid back, but honestly it rides. It does, don't get me wrong, this track is fire. Uh, it's just not, the most hype track is what I'm trying to say, but it's dope. I like it. And then we get Jumped Out the Window, which is again like the antithesis of I Bought Her. We get very aggressive piano and synth melodies. Uh, the harder bass uh, brings some really dark vibes to this, tr this to this song, you know? It's got a really more energetic Young Thug performance. The BPM has like this perfect bounce to it. The lead going on in the background with some slides in it is just so cool. It's so interesting to listen to. You know, just everything that that last track didn't have where it was more mellow and laid back. This one's more fun, aggressive, hard hitting. This is gonna get people going crazy at concerts. This is gonna be the one that people wanna mosh to and dance to and just kind of like scream out the lyrics and, and jump around to. You know, this is more uh, what I was expecting kind of from some of these tracks. I wasn't expecting Young Thug to be so tame and mellow on some of these songs. And I feel like on this track specifically, a Travis Scott feature would have been, it, would, it just would have been perfect, you know? The dark vibe, Travis Scott would have killed it. And that would have really just added like the last bit of seasoning to this track. It would have made it so special. Uh, still, it is really dope as is, you know, it's a really cool, it's a banger. It's a banger for sure. That's really the way that I would describe it. Now the next track is I'm Scared. And again, it's got very Pierre Bourne-esque type of, of uh, synths, keys. You know, it's, it's kind of got that vibe to it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, of something that Pierre Bourne might have produced. You know, it's very melodic and again, very laid back, very uh, mellow. Now there is a high pitched melody that goes on over these keys and it doesn't mesh well with the melodies that Thug himself is singing, but that's not Young Thug's fault. And at first when I was listening to it, I kind of thought it was, but the more I listen to it, the more I feel like it's the producer's fault and that the melody that the lead is playing just doesn't fit at all with Young Thug or the actual beat itself. Uh, the melody just doesn't feel like it fits the track that well, you know? I'm not saying it's, it's like off key or something, but just the notes themselves that they're playing, although they're in the same key, don't feel like they, they fit uh, the chords that are being played very well. So I feel like maybe just taking out that, that melody from the lead would have fixed that problem for sure. Now, 21 Savage's middle school line uh, is pretty cringeworthy, not gonna lie. It was, it was pretty, pretty bad. But for the most part, on 21 Savage's verse, I got exactly what I was expecting from him. You know, it's the same flow uh, and the same kind of monotone delivery that Young Thug, Young Thug, 21 Savage normally provides. Uh, it, it was, you know, exactly what I was expecting. If, if I told you, if I said to you, 21 Savage feature, that sound that pops into your head is exactly what we got, basically, on this track from 21 Savage. Um, predictable flow and delivery, for sure. Now, Doughboy, you know, his verse isn't, isn't incredible. It's not bad. It's okay. Um, but at this point in the track, when he comes in, I've been listening to this beat for so long, wondering what was wrong with it that that main lead in the background that, that's playing that off melody is really bothering me at this point. And honestly, it makes it kind of hard to focus on what, all the other stuff that's going on. Uh, and so I feel like Doughboy's verse is good, but at this point, we've gotten so tired of listening to that melody in the track that we're just distracted and we're not really invested in the song at this point. So uh, I just feel like that melody kind of ruins this track, you know? And if, it, if they got rid of it, I feel like this would have been pretty dope. It's again, it wouldn't have been a special track off this project. It would have been, it wouldn't have been, you know, like a standout track, but it would have been better than it is now. But like I said, whenever we've got a track that kind of bothers me, the next track just comes back so much harder. Cartier Gucci Scarf. Young Thug's energy on this track, man. Oh my God, I could run through a brick wall listening to Young Thug on this thing. Now the synths going on in the background, they're almost like 8-bit, you know? Again, very similar to this new style of trap music that artists like Pierre Bourne and, and, and Playboy Cardi are popularizing. Very 8-bit-ish synths. Really interesting to listen to. But the highlight for me is definitely the performance and the, and the energy from Young Thug. I mean, it's just crazy. You know, Young Thug's performance on this 
put this song on my playlist. This song would have gone on my playlist if it were an a cappella version with just Young Thug's vocals because of how fire I think those vocals are for this beat. Lil Duke is great on this track. The bells in the production fit so well. I mean, they, they sound great in my opinion. I feel like this beat was perfectly suited for the energy that Young Thug brought to the table and vice versa. Young Thug brought energy that made the beat awesome and I feel like this beat kind of brought that energy out of Young Thug. So I feel like this track is just great, you know, because of it. I feel like this track is, is made all the better because the beat and the artist are bringing out the best in each other. And the feature, Lil Duke's aggressive vocals, I mean, everything about this track is great in my opinion. Big Tipper is next, and honestly, this was kind of one of the most surprising songs on the, on the project, for sure. Um, and not because it's just ridiculously unique or anything like that, but it's because when it started off, I felt like it was gonna be predictable. You know, we got Southside production, so the bass is knocking, the beat is great. Southside is, is a great producer, and Young Thug is doing his thing. He's he's doing typical Young Thug things on, on a fire beat, uh, which is already enough to make the track good, you know? But I thought that that was kind of what we were gonna get for the rest of the track, but then Young Thug switches up his flow and ups the ante a little bit. Right, and the heat levels on this thing are starting to rise at this point because now you know it's always a good moment when you're listening to a track and you're feeling it right, and then you, you go like this. It's always a great moment when the artist does something that you're not expecting. That's the moment that I had when he switched up his flow, and then I had that moment twice. He starts going into the chorus, and his flow for the chorus is great. And Southside comes in with these melodies, dude. The synths for the chorus, it, it, it's... Ugh. I mean, his, his flow on the chorus is so bouncy. The melodies that Southside put in for the chorus is so awesome. It's such an awesome moment. You know, it really is. It's just unreal. And that build up where I thought it was gonna be predictable and then I was surprised by Young Thug switching up his flow and then I was surprised by the melodies brought in by Southside for the hook. I mean, it just made this track so much better to me and it made it onto my playlist because of that. Just the, the unpredictability, you know, that moment of surprise uh, where the track is just different from what you expected. And I had that twice for this song. It was just a really special moment for me, in my opinion. I love that song. Big Tipper's great. And uh, Lil' Keed, I actually forgot that we had a Lil' Keed guest verse on this track, but uh, I felt like he was good. You know, it's just that the rest of the track was so perfect that I really feel like he was kind of unnecessary. I don't really need that Lil' Keed verse in there. You know, so it's like, he's cool that he's on there, but I didn't really need it. The next track, is pussy. Now, I don't really like the way that these melodies were mixed, if I'm being honest. Uh, they're kind of distracting. I wasn't a fan of the 808s. They kind of sound like they're not very tuned properly. Um, and yeah, this is just one of those cases where the beat is getting to me and Young Thug has great energy and great performance and he's being his incredible, amazing Young Thug self, but he's just not able to save the track. You know, the beat was just, the beat's a no for me. Young Thug is perfect. Young Thug is amazing. You know, I love what he tried to do with his energy and his vocal inflections trying to save this beat, but it's just, it didn't work for me. Like I said though, we get a weak track and the project just finds a way to come back. Uh, Wheezy killed the beat for Circle of Bosses. You know, he starts off by showing us the guitar sample, and then when the song actually starts and the performance actually starts, he tunes the guitar sample down an octave, and it sounds like it's underwater, and it sounds kind of warbly, and it's just so interesting, and it's so smooth. It works so, so well. Wheezy really killed the beat. Young Thug vocalizing in the background is amazing. You know, I love the, the singing that he does, where he'll rap a bar, and then he'll hold on to the last word, and he'll sing a melody as he's holding on to, like, the last vowel of that word. Oh, it's so, it's so interesting. It's so Young Thuggish, you know. No one else really does it like that. Uh, and I think it sounds great. Quavo's vocals were mixed. I mean, they sound so clean. They sound crisp. And there's just something about clean vocals. You know, it's just so satisfying to listen to when it's mixed properly. Uh, I wrote down here as I was listening to it, melodies are really smooth. And I think I added like four O's. <laughs> so I think it's it's meant to be said. Melodies are so smooth, dude. Uh, really digging the song though. I, I, I really liked listening to it, especially on my first listen. I kind of wrote some of these lines out while I was listening to it for the first time. And uh, I just felt like the energy was great, the performance was great, their, their chemistry um, was really dope, you know? I feel like Quavo uh, had a really concise verse as well, you know? He didn't try to outdo Young Thug, he didn't try to like, 
show off too much on Young Thug's track. He did his thing and he, he did. And I feel like that was really dope. I feel like it made the track work a little better. Uh, so yeah, this song is great. Mannequin Challenge is next. And you know, this beat is, it, it tries really hard to be fun. You know, it tries really hard to give off that summertime fun vibe, but the main melody just doesn't really mesh very well with the melody that the synth is playing. You know, anytime you have two melodies, you've got to make sure that they, they complement each other and they play off of each other really well, and that's just not the case with this song, I feel like. The vocal sample that's going on in the background feels a little sloppy. It feels like it could have been mixed better. It feels like it's, it's kind of distracting from the rest of the stuff that's going on in the project. You know, it makes the beat kind of feel cluttered. And that's, that's never, never a good thing, really. Unless you're JPEG Mafia and cluttered is like your thing, you know, then it works. But in this case, not working. Uh, Young Thug and Juice World did their thing. I feel, I like the Juice World feature. You know, he, he did, he did pretty well. Uh, Young Thug, again, he, he, he's Young Thug, you know, he's great. But they just weren't enough to kind of keep me interested in this track and keep me invested and, and make me want to come back to it, you know? I feel like maybe there's some potential, maybe if I listen to it a few more times, it'll grow a little bit on me, but just, it's doubtful, you know? You could put this on at a party as background music and, and people would, would probably enjoy it, you know? But if you're listening to this, if you're coming to this track to listen to it, I just feel like it, that, that's not really the best way to listen to it and to come to it, to approach to it. Next track is Boy Back featuring Nav. I saw someone post that Nav is like a robot that was programmed to create trap music, and that's the trap music that he makes, and I agree. <laughs> and yes, that's a reference to the Anthony Fantano meme. You know, Nav's vocals are very heavily tuned, and it does make him sound robotic, but not only that, I just feel like his music can feel so generic sometimes, you know? It feels like he's following a formula for creating trap music. So I'm kinda glad that Nav's verse wasn't really long. He did have the chorus and he did okay on it. Uh, we got a very minimalistic beat, this song from DJ Mustard. Basically it has a, a sample in 808, uh, a hi-hat, an open hi-hat, and a clap. And honestly, I don't really think there's anything else. Um, so it's it's smooth, it's great, it's, it's wavy. There's nothing too crazy, it's not a standout track. You know, but the production is, is, is dope. It's got a cool sample to it. Um, and Nav's verse was, was short and sweet and, and just what I was expecting from him. I wasn't expecting anything more or less. Uh, and we got decent Young Thug on this. So, you know, it's a decent track. It's not disappointing. Um, it's okay. And the last track is The London, which I actually have a reaction to. The link will be in the top right hand corner. And you can go watch that to see what I think about this. So all in all, uh, so much fun by Young Thug is, is pretty decent, honestly. You know, when we have, when, when I saw that we had 19 songs, I wasn't expecting this project to be good, if I'm being honest, because I felt like most of these songs were gonna be throwaways. I felt like most of these tracks weren't gonna be very decent, um, but actually, we only got maybe four four tracks that I really just didn't enjoy that I don't feel like coming back to. 15 out of 19 is not bad. We got 15 good songs from Young Thug, and out of those 15, I feel like four or five made it onto my playlist because I feel like they were standout tracks. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised by Young Thug on this project. I feel like this is a very decent project. I feel like it's a very solid body of work. I think Young Thug might be maturing, you know, this is like the most tame that he's been in a while. It feels like he hasn't really uh, been very out there or weird or wacky with his delivery or performance on any of these songs. Um, it feels like he has developed a style. He knows what that style is. He's not trying to find it. And he just executes his style very, very well throughout this project. I'm very pleased with his performance with his energy, with what he brought to all of these tracks. The first track, the maturity that he brought was, was really interesting. Uh, the really funny energy that he brings with Sup Mate, the insane energy that's contagious that he brings on, what's the name of that song? Hold on, let me find it. Jumped Out the Window it is, is just awesome. You know, I feel like some of these tracks, man, they kind of show how, how Young Thug really is on top of his game, you know, and how, how uh, fun he is to listen to. We've got some really cool vibes. We've got some really mellow vibes. We've got some really fun summertime vibes with this project. You know, a little bit of versatility. We've got some dope features. You know, all in all, this project, it's not amazing. It's not gonna be album of the year. It might end up in some people's top 10. I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up on people's top 10. It might end up in mine. 
honestly i had a blast listening to this i had a blast honestly coming back and, and re-listening to some of these tracks you know three or four times um in order to write the reviews you know it, and that's not always the case so i feel like that says something this track this project has replayability it's got energy it's got character uh it, it's great it's a really good project yeah if i had to give it a number rating out of 10 this would probably be like seven and a half i feel like that's fair for this you know this is a good project for sure I was happy with this. Uh, that's my review. Let me know what you guys think about the reviews in the comment section and how I could do these. Oh my God, the dog is going crazy out there. Let me know what you guys think about the reviews and how I do them uh, and what I could do better in the comment section. You know, reviews are definitely something I've got to work on. I'm not really used to writing a script uh, for these videos. You know, normally I just kind of wing it and it's been working for me. So I'm working on writing down my thoughts in a concise way. Uh, and presentable way. Anthony Fantano is somebody who does that so well. Uh, Sean C does that very well. You know, I, I don't know. I don't want to compare myself to them. I do want to bring my own style to it, but let me know if there's anything that I'm doing that you guys feel like I probably did uh, poorly and I could do better. Because you guys are probably the, the best way for me to get better at this, you know, by realizing and, and knowing what you guys want from me. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys thought about this project in the comment section too. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you would support the channel on Patreon or follow me on my social media, that would be a huge help to get this channel more viewers, more subscribers, to help the channel grow. You know, all of that. It'd, it'd be really dope to get some support from you guys on there. And um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know what else to say <laughs> about the project. I liked it. It was great. It was a lot of fun. And I had a lot of fun making this video. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Um, and yeah, stay safe out there. Peace out, guys.